Hey everyone, this is Caleb with Google Truth Podcast for today, August 27th, 2021. I'm going to hit on something, and it's, you know, it's ridiculous. You got Kevin Nunes, Kevin McCarthy, Jim Jordan, Ron Johnson, all these asshole Republicans that are bitching at about Trump and what happened. You know how how Trump is still part of the Republican Party, and then you got them bitching about what happened with in Afghanistan with ISIS. All right, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Trump come out and say ISIS was eradicated? Huh? Did they not say ISIS was? Re- did he not say ISIS was er- eradicated? The motherfucker lied to the people of this country again to make himself look good. Me, me, me. The narcissistic dumb fuck. Okay? Now, here's the whole thing. All these fuckers that are bitching and second-guessing Biden have never served in the military. They have never served in the fucking military. Louis Gomer. All these fuckers. Josh Hawley. Ted Cruz, all these motherfuckers have never served in the military. So they don't know what it is. They don't know what what it is to serve their country. And and, And Kevin Nunes, because Biden broke down and put his hands in his face, Kevin Nunes is such a hypocrite little fuck face. He tried to sue Devin Nunes' cow, and the judge says, well, we'll back up a minute. You can't sue this person. He's a little weasel. That's all he is. Matt Gates never served in the military. All these ones that are criticizing Biden have never served in the military. They've never been in, even near a military base. Other than, a, you know, to show, uh, how can I put it to you? To show off. That's basically it. Okay? I mean, it's total bullshit what they're doing. They think they have, you know, they think they can do what they want and say what they want, and they don't realize. Just like. Just like Hannity keeps letting Biden, not Biden, but uh, keeps letting Trump go on a show and let Trump talk shit. Well, that's a threat to the U.S. national security when he does that shit. Because Hannity's show is seen all over the world. Tucker Carlson, you know, uh... They're all seen all over the world. Fox is cast of clowns, you know. And they stick Peter Juicy, his daddy's a reporter at Fox. They stick Peter Juicy in there and he starts going after Biden. And Biden basically shut him down. I mean, it, it's it, they're, they're bullshit. They're total bullshit. That's what they are. They're total bullshit. Total bullshit. You know, they have no idea what they're doing in their life. I mean, then you got the stupid, clueless Republican governors that... <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's it's sad. It's sad how stupid and incompetent they are. You know... You know, it's unbelievable how incompetent they are. Doug Ducey, wheelchair man. DeSantis, Christy Known, the Mississippi governor, Alabama governor, Georgia governor. All the Republicans that have gotten their, you know, 
con- their their states in total bullshit with the COVID nineteen Delta variant, and they're still they're still after kids have died, kids have died. I mean, hospitals are overrun with COVID patients. You can't have if someone has a heart attack somewhere, you can't. That's it. They're done. Just woke up. So, but here's the thing. Here's the damn thing. They're clueless, uneducated idiots. They claim they have all this education, law degrees, and all that shit. It doesn't make them people smart. It does not make them people smart. Bottom line, it does not. It does not make them people smart. They are clueless idiots that don't know what the hell they're doing in life. I mean, the guy in Texas, where I posted on my Facebook page from TikTok, sent his kid to school, the kid wears a mask, to, you know, comes home three days later, he winds up testing positive for COVID with signs of COVID. And the guy went off. The guy went off. Fuck Abbott. Fuck Cruz. Fuck this. Fuck them. Fuck the Republicans. Fuck every fucking Republican. If my child gets sick, I will own the state of Texas, basically. And I agree with him. I agree with him wholeheartedly, 100%. Because these fuckers have done the unconscionable. They have put executive orders in place that they know they cannot do and that's sad saying that you cannot have a mask mandate you cannot have a you know a vaccine mandate well fuck when you go to school first in school in kindergarten you have to have your vaccinations what the fuck is wrong with these fucking clueless dumb fucks huh your dog has to have a vaccination every two years what the fuck is wrong with these clueless idiots you know Kevin McCarthy talking shit out of his ass about everything I mean it's it's totally totally pisses me off with these you know these assholes they have no idea what they're talking about then you got Fox News telling you to take the animal medicine that can paralyze you, which you should not take, you know, I mean, the Republicans and the freaking Fox News are the worst threat to the people of this country, and we have a Department of Justice that has no balls, Department of Justice can come down on Fox News Like you wouldn't believe to force them to stop with the misinformation and the lies and the conspiracy theories. Okay? But they don't. They don't. I personally think Trump himself should be locked up in Guantanamo. Because he's an enemy of the people. He's a combatant. That's it. He's a domestic combatant. That's what he is. Bottom line, he needs to be taught a lesson. He needs to be taught a lesson. I mean, I wonder how many of those people who went to his rally in 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 Alabama will go wind up sick. The figures haven't come out of Sturgis yet. How many of the 500,000 that went out there or 750,000 that went out there that tested positive for COVID Then you got a doctor in Alabama that has been giving, has been giving people animal medicine for COVID. He just had his license taken away and he just got arrested. An Alabama doctor. You know, I mean, not Alabama, Arkansas. Take take that back. Arkansas doctor has been arrested for basically giving people animal tablets for COVID. He's had his medical license taken away. 
I mean, how illiterate are these people? How clueless are these people? How out of touch with reality? How batshit crazy are these people? I have no idea what, you know, what the hell's going on here in this country. It has gone to the point where we've reached the point of no return. I mean, I saw an interview on NPR. A guy was interviewing a guy in the rally that Trump had in Alabama saying that the they, he, has, he has the people ready to go take the White House back and ba 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 And I'm saying to myself, what the fuck? That he will use he will use his weapons and everything else and it will happen in September. But what the fuck they happen in September? Huh? We let it happen once at the Capitol. I say activate twenty thousand National Guard troops, put ten thousand at the Capitol, ten thousand at the White House, around the White House. And I still say Put one rubber bullet, one real bullet. They advance on you, hit them with the rubber bullet, they keep coming, shoot them in the arm. Shoot them in the leg. Don't shoot to kill, just shoot to hurt them. They'll get a message. They'll get a message. When a few of them get shot, you'll see them scatter like cockroaches. You'll see them shatter like cockroaches. I mean, it's unbelievable the shit that goes on. I mean, it's it. This country has gone from prosperous to nothing. I mean, the Supreme Court cut down Biden's eviction mandate. Okay, that means somewhere when winter starts, you'll have about 20 million people out on the street. Families, kids, elderly, and these landlords, they're, they're as stupid as stupid can be. Why can't they help these people get the pandemic rental assistance that's out there? I was, I was done some research. Only 10% of that money has been used throughout the United States. 10% of that money has been used throughout the United States. Like here in Pima County, Tucson. They've only used 10% of it. They're behind three months making payments to landlords. I mean, what the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is this bullshit? Then you got the assholes that just walk around town, don't want to wear a mask, Think they they can't carry COVID, they can't get sick. Well, look the anti-vaxer guy and the anti-mask guy in Texas. Now he's on life support in the hospital. Yeah, the clueless, the clueless of the clueless, the uneducated of the uneducated, the illiterate of the illiterate. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But like I said, I mean. They're taking shit that they should not be taking, that they think works for COVID. They're out of touch with reality. It's unbelievable the shit that they're doing. I mean, shit's got to stop. People need to get their shit together and open up their minds and see what the fuck is going on. I mean, because you don't want to get the shot, then fine. Don't get the shot. But you know what? Stay the fuck away from everyone. Wear a mask. Because you don't get the shot, you're just being selfish, self-centered, and you don't, be, you don't give a fuck about anyone else but yourself. I mean, it's sad. I put my life on the line by going into the COVID trials with Moderna. All right. Now I found out the first shots I took was the vaccine. Now here's the thing: I put my life on the line because I felt 
I had to do something. Okay? I can't stick a key on my arm and it sticks. I don't have anyone tracking me. This iPhone will track me more than anyone else. You got the internet at home? Your IP address tracks you wherever you go. Pull out the fuse thing on your car. There's a little black box in there. That's a GPS that's on all cars. You have an app like Geico or any insurance app. They track you. So you're worried about being tracked? Fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on because you're being tracked by Big Brother. You've been being tracked by Big Brother. 